So for those of you that have downloaded Chamfer already, I hope you come back and check out this video because I just realized that uh, we had a very old version of the uh, configuration page in the uh, uh, up on the on Drupal.org. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and reshoot this real quick here. Um, this is Chamfer, so in case you haven't seen it, uh, the reason being because of these little tabs here, which are generated uh, via CSS uh, and some small images and divs and fun stuff like that. So the power of this theme comes from the uh, the template engine. Um, so just a quick example, you know, you have we have a couple templates that are packaged with things here. Let me expand some of this stuff down so you can see it. There we go. Uh, so you can see we have uh, just a few built in. Uh, so you can say, all right, silver, you know, you know quickly re uh, reload things. Uh, this is just happening on the fly via CSS and jQuery. So you do have to hit save to make your theme look this way. But um, it's powerful because you can kind of rapid prototype things, as my, my uh, Android phone tells me that I got an email about this. <laughs> so here's what the major change is from the previous version of things. Um, can see we have some nice little transition effects here going on. Um, I'm going to just quickly set this back to default so we can play with it. Uh, there are some some bugs some bugs still in this, um, so we're hoping that everybody can help us track them down and figure stuff out. But you can see we've cleaned up the settings page quite significantly from the initial cast I did on this. Uh, so we have everything built, broken down into uh, page, header, content, and footer settings at the moment. So you know, let's just take a look at header settings. Um, you're going to be able to, uh, in the documentation, add in uh, files to, to the folder and have them be able to be toggled here as to whether or not you want that image to show up. Uh, in, the, in a future version, we hope that the logo can actually just be uploaded through here. Um, the word logo is used all over the place, unfortunately. Uh, there's no way to change this logo image settings thing, but if you upload a new logo into the actual themes logo area, it will replace this. Uh, this Penn State College of Arts and Architecture branding is not included with the theme, obviously, because it's copyrighted, but um, it is what our logo 1 and logo 2 are set to. So you see if I switch this to logo 2, and then I go back to the top. Oh crap, that's the bottom one. <laughs> uh, header. Uh, maybe if I say no logo. There we go. So it went away. So I already had logo 2 in, uh, invoked. Um, so some of the things you can change here, you know, some of the more obvious ones that weren't in the initial one. Uh, so we got page settings. Background image we're going to allow as an upload of the future. But right now, it pretty much gives you that feel that you're using uh, Photoshop. That puts puts that tile down. Uh, the nice thing is it is transparent, so if you want to dial this up to maybe a dark blue or something, so that that's a subtle effect. Uh, secondary background controls the borders and header, so you can see I just changed the border there, changes the header up top. Um, if I click this, bam, we don't have borders anymore. So most of the philosophy behind Chamfer is that anything is changeable, and it's changeable not by me and not by a graphic designer, but by any user of Drupal at this point. And we're hoping that this will uh, do for Drupal what the outline designer has done for our workflow, in which we've been able to lower the cost of entry for people into using Drupal and basically just using an easy framework to, uh, to, to leverage the power of Drupal without having to train people on what Drupal is and how it works and all that fun stuff. So. Uh, this is using uh, a jQuery color picker plugin, which is a separate module. Um, it integrates quite nicely. So uh, there's links on the actual website about it and documentation. Um, this should be good to go for uh, for the most part. I don't know that I would use it in production just yet. Uh, we are still working out some some issues with it, but uh, please, you know, please give us your feedback. We're looking for you know, as whatever features people are interested in, what they think of this concept uh, in the first place. Let me just zoom down to the footer there so you can see it. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Ta-da, changed. <laughs>